Hello and welcome back to the channel. A few months ago, about three months ago to be exact, I made a video about some smart lighting accessories from Lutron, and in that video I mentioned that they do also do smart blinds and they had a new version that was coming out soon. Several of you guys down in the comment section said that I should totally get those in to check them out, and so here we are a few months later, they are here. They've actually been here for a few weeks now, but I kind of wanted to wait until I had some other hands to help me out. So what is this? What do we have in this reasonably large box? I I ordered two sets of blinds from Lutron. Now, if you head on over to their site and take a look, you'll see they do offer three different types of blinds and they're all smart blinds. They've got the traditional roller shades where it just rolls up and down. They've got the honeycomb cellular shades, which kind of collapse on themselves. Then they have the wood blinds, and those are the newer ones. Those are the ones that I actually ordered. Before we go too much into this, I will go ahead and mention these are decently expensive, but you must keep in mind these are custom cut blinds with a built-in automatic controller so that it can close and open, plus the ability to be controlled remotely using the Lutron app. So they're gonna be a little more expensive than traditional blinds. From what I understand, these do run about $600 a piece, give or take, depending on the size of your window and any kind of accessories that you get along with it. You can get a 12 volt plug, one that actually goes into the wall to go with it. I didn't do that. I went for the D battery option and just realized I probably don't have D batteries. So I'm going to have to run out to the store and pick some up before I can finish this video. But again, these are about $600 a piece. I did not pay that much, but I also did not get these for free. They gave me one blind for free. So that was a $600 value. And then they gave me, I think 40% off the second one. So I paid a grand total of about $340 with tax and shipping and everything for these two blinds. Just wanted to be completely transparent about that. Let's go ahead, since I've been talking for so long now, and find out what comes in the box when you order it. Because if you couldn't tell from the table there, this is a pretty decently sized box. Ow. So I'm not sure I can show this properly on the overhead camera, but this is what the inside of the box looks like. There's two blinds in here, and they are very tightly packed in the box, meaning I haven't been able to get them out yet. So eventually I did have to cut the side, and the entire thing does open this way because the blinds are actually taped inside. And I'm not gonna open both of these on camera at the moment just to keep things a little bit cleaner and easier, but here's what comes inside of it. Since these are custom cut and custom designed just for you, there's no special commercial packaging. It's a brown cardboard box that has just what you ordered inside. There's a box of hardware you can see here. This is just what you're gonna use to mount it to the wall, or in my case, to the frame around the window. You'll see in a minute. This does also have a full barcode on it that shows exactly what was ordered. It says manufactured in Mexico. It's got all the specifications up here, the stone gray color that I ordered with the size, the 33 by 46. And the other one's a slightly different size because it seems that almost every window in my house is kind of an odd shape. But again, custom cut blinds, they should exactly match what your window is. And from what I saw, they actually have a free in-home consultation where I guess they will do all the measuring and everything for you. I didn't see that as an option whenever I ordered mine, kind of wish that I had. So the rest of the packaging, here is the fascia piece. This sits over top of the window and actually has some barcodes on the back to say what it is and everything made out of wood. The valence clip is what they call this, and you do get to pick this as part of the design process. Here you can see these are where the batteries are going to go, so it looks like it's going to take 4D batteries. There's also some additional wiring up here at the top. This would probably be if you were to use their 12 volt adapter. I'm not going to be doing that because I didn't want a wire running down the side of the window to find an outlet somewhere. And if you can see it on camera here, that's what the color of the blind turned out to be. It's supposed to be a stone gray, and I can say it does kind of fit the bill. What I'm not immediately seeing are instructions, so I'm going to dig back in and see if I can find those. Aha! They were in the box too. So there's this decently large pamphlet in multiple languages. So if you'd like to see exactly how all of this works, I'll go ahead and just leave this here for a minute. You can always pause and take a look at it. Hopefully that's clear enough, but it does mention those are what the contents should be. We should have the blind, left and right mounting brackets, mounting screws, left and right bracket locks, center support and screws only if you have a 48 inch or wider. And I don't believe that mine are 48 inches or wider. I think 30 something was the biggest that we ended up ordering. And then there's the optional stuff, the valence, which you saw earlier, the valence clips, spacer blocks, joined left and right mounting bracket if you were mounting two of them together and hold down brackets, which I didn't get because I think it was like $25 extra for a little piece of plastic. It says we will need a 3 seconds drill bit, a one quarter inch hex driver bit, tape measure, pencil level, and drill. Definitely have all that. And again, there's your powered options. If the blinds are under 28 inches wide, you can use AA batteries. Mine are bigger, so they're gonna have to take D batteries, four or eight, depending on the size. We saw it was four. That's the power supply you can get for it. Or there's also a 10 output power panel. I don't have all my blinds that close together, so I don't force see that being a thing. And that makes me happy. So there's also assign a remote control. With the lighting setup that we did before, there was a remote control that was included and we haven't been using it. So 
this would be the perfect opportunity to reassign that remote control to work with the blinds. Excellent. So I think at this point, it's probably about time to go ahead and take down the existing blinds and get started. So here's what the blinds look like before. They are wood blinds, don't quite match with the rest of the room, but also they're mounted weirdly inside the window. So with the new blinds, we're going to have to mount them outside the window on the frame. So we just pop the original blinds out, just like that. Remove the existing mount from both sides. And as you can see, this is what the blinds were holding onto before. There's probably a quarter to a half an inch of wood there that they were screwed into. And the new blinds, they say they need at least two inches if they're going to be inside the window, and we just don't have that. We measure and pre-drill your holes, and then drill it in. And then repeat the process. Then we hang it in place, slide it in one side, pop it in the other, close the bracket. It says to install these mounting bracket locks, so we'll give that a shot. So it looks like it clips in under here and then on top. Next up, the pile of D batteries that I apparently had in the basement that are probably all expired. Installing the gigantic D batteries, four of them per blind. Success. Hey. And I see a flashing light. Yes. Then we pull the blinds down, just grab them and pull. This is one thing that is not going to be automated or motorized in any way. At this point, it's time to assign a remote control. So we could actually use the Pico remote control with it and use that alone but I do have the Caseta Smart Bridge, so I can go ahead and use the app to set this up. And to add the blinds to the Lutron app, you can see I've already done it here. I can hit the cogwheel in the top left corner, click Add Device, and then select Shade or Blind, and pick the type that you've got here at the bottom. I have wood blinds. It says wait for the LED to start blinking. You saw that just a minute ago. Then press and hold the button for 10 seconds until the LED blinks rapidly. And as soon as I did that for the blind, it did immediately pick it up, allowed me to give it a name and tell it what room it was in and everything. So you can see I have added both blinds here in the master bedroom. So now that I've added the blind, I can click on it and you can see it's in the middle position here. If I take it all the way down, the blind in the background closes. If I take it all the way up, the blind will open and then close in the other direction. And then if I hit any of these buttons on the side, I can hit this one to get it go back to the middle position and have it go up little bits at a time or down little bits at a time just by pressing or pressing and holding just to whatever your exact favorite specification is. But as you will notice there, there's no button to raise or lower the blind. That must be done manually. Then we need to install the, the valence. So in order to do that, we have to install these valence clamps on. You can see the clamp there. Just place it face down onto the back of the valence like that, and then give it a twist and it locks it in place. Then you can move it left to right, but you can't actually pull it out as it is. And then step whatever we're on, you take the blinds down entirely because you measured incorrectly the first time around. You completely redo them so that the valence will fit. And then we hope that it fits. <gasps> it fits. Now we have to line these plastic pieces up with the plastic pieces here. Aha. So then you slide them on from the bottom and they clip into place. That should not have been as difficult as it was. I wasn't paying attention. And then inside of the Lutron app, if I go to my home, you can see I have main lights remote one. This is the remote for the closet lights. If I tap on that and hit edit device, I can go into devices and then I should be able to switch from the main lights to tall blind and turn off those lights. And now that I've switched the device to the remote, if I hit the light on button, it opens the blinds. If I hit the light off button, it closes the blinds and then one tap at a time will gradually open or gradually close. The one downside of doing it this way is hitting the up button doesn't make the blinds flip all the way open. It just takes it to halfway. So I can't put the blinds all the way closed in the other direction using one of these buttons. Although hitting the center button here does put it in this three quarters up position, which is kind of nice. Another minor update to that statement. There's actually a setting inside of the app. So if I pick one of the blinds and go to edit device, I can go into set close limit and view position. And if I click on closed limit, 
I can actually go to the blind and watch it and then change which I would consider to be the closed position. So if I prefer it to be flipped all the way up and that is closed, I can put it in that position, hit save, and then the next time I hit close on any of the remotes or anything, it will go to that position. And skipping right ahead, we've gone ahead and installed the other set of blinds. And I forgot to show this earlier, there's actually a Lutron natural light optimization that can automatically open the blinds during the day, adjust them throughout the day, and then close them in the evening. I'm gonna skip that because we don't wanna open the bedroom blinds, but this is the way you go through and set it up. I'm gonna say I'm done adding devices now. And now if I go to the short blind using the app, I can hit down and it pulls them down. I can go all the way up and it pulls them up or back to the middle. Another cool feature I wasn't really sure was gonna work, I created a group inside of ALEXA and added the two blinds to it. So now I can say, Alexa, close the blinds. Okay. Alexa, open the blinds. Okay. And I think that's where I'll wrap this video up for today. Definitely thanks to Lutron for reaching out, for offering to send these blinds out at a significant discount. $300 to replace two blinds in the bedroom that gives me the opportunity to just hit a single button and have all of this excess light go away. That will be lovely for waking up first thing in the morning and being able to just hit a button, have the blinds open up as you see, have a little bit of natural light pour in, and then end of the night, hit the button, they close up, you're ready to go to bed and hopefully we don't have to change those D batteries terribly often. Maybe I'll follow up on this in a future video to let you know how long they last, but to be entirely honest, we don't open our bedroom blinds too often, so maybe now that we have this, we'll open them a little bit more often. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up down below and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. If you wanna get notified when new videos come out, hit the notification bell down there if you wanna get notified when new ones come out because they are kind of inconsistent. And I'll see you again next time. Bye guys.